With the introduction of the Netflix Witcher gear, I felt it's time I live out my Henry Cavill fantasies in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So I'm leaning into the Forgotten Wolf set for a build today and we're going to focus on looking hot in our Witcher gear as well as maybe killing some monsters. We'll see. Let's go. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do any other Witcher 3 content with the new next-gen update. So, this build isn't really min-maxed in any particular way, so if you're looking for a min-max build, this definitely is not it. I am essentially focusing on the theme of the Netflix Witcher, or Henry Cavill, you know, the man, the myth, the legend himself, and the abilities and things that he uses in the show itself, while also leaning into the Forgotten Wolf set, which has bonuses for the Ard and the Yerden signs. So, mostly we're going to be buffing Art and Yernan and using them a lot in combat and combining them to deal maximum damage to enemies as well as some of the other things that he uses like you know Henry Cavill does use a lot of sword skills he's extremely versed in you know his sword abilities in the in the show and as well as a little bit of like alchemy drinking some potions it doesn't really use oils or bombs in any regard mostly just like popping potions when he does fight you know monsters that kind of thing so we're really leaning into that and focusing on those skills as well as obviously wearing the Forgotten Wolf set so we do look like Henry Cavill's Witcher. So in combat itself you're really going to be using Yerden as that magical trap on the ground to slow enemies and get that effect applied to them and then combining it with Ard to deal damage as the Forgotten Wolf set buff Ard deals additional damage to enemies affected by Yerden. So we really want to get enemies inside that Yerden window and then use Ard on them and then because of the skills and different things that we're using as well we're buffing our Ard as much as possible so that damage increase is pretty high and for the most part when enemies are in that circuit you can just like swing away with your weapon anyway because you know he does use a lot of those just like general attacks so we're focusing on some fast attack damage and just general attack power as well so let's start putting this together so your armor and weapons all come from the netflix witcher gear and you have to do the side quest in the eternals fire shadow in felon you have to do that quest and at the end of that quest line regardless of how you do it like in the terms of the quest we won't show too much of the quest itself just for like spoiler reasons because it's the only new content in the game and it should be experienced for yourself but you do that quest you get the initial crafting diagrams and then you'll have to get the scavenger hunt quest to go to Kaomora and get the grand master pieces if you want to maximize your gear depending on like what level you're at as well like you obviously won't wear the grand master pieces you might just wear the initial 20 level pieces that you do get at the start but if you do go grab those pieces and you will need the grand master smith in Toussaint to craft the grand master versions of this gear which does require the blood and wine dlc so if you go there you'll be able to craft the grand master versions which is the season two like netflix outfit the swords still look the same they get a little bit of like adjustments but they basically look the same but it's the netflix version too the armor itself is medium armor and it has some pretty good passive bonuses especially to attack power on it and the witcher gear like sets when you're wearing all of them it'll increase the duration of potions which kind of fits with you know the amount of potions that henry cavill does down as well as that art and yurden buff that i mentioned earlier and they are level 40 required for these gear so once you've done that you basically want to head to a barber shop and shave off your beard if you do have a beard and make sure your hair looks like henry cavill like i have as well you could download a face mod if you're on pc but i honestly think that's a bit of a risk because i don't think mods really work at the moment in the next gen version once you've got all the gear you will want to put some runes on the gear itself now for the most part for runes you're probably anything that really buffs art or yurden like that sign intensity is probably enough that you can put on the gear itself though if you have got the like money available you can go to the rune right vendor that came with the hearts of stone dlc and you can put the entanglement buff onto your chess piece which when a trap is set for yurden hits an enemy a yurden glyph will be placed in that position so it'll like expand your yurden radius so you'll hit more enemies with it and you can also put replenishment onto your sword so after you cast a sign an adrenaline point is consumed and your next sword attack is charged with the power of that sign so then that's just like another way that you can apply yurden to enemies because you can then attack enemies with that effect as well for your skills your mutations and your mutagens we're going to focus primarily on signs so blue so you want to have two blue mutations one red and one green so we get a little bit of coverage and bonuses for each of the different categories starting with the red mutation we're going to be using muscle memory so fast attack damage is increased by 30 percent it also increases your adrenaline point gain as well precise blows increases the chance of landing a critical hit by 12 percent and your crit damage by 75 percent and crippling strikes so fast attacks can now apply bleed as well so you enemies will lose vitality because of that bleed effect so we're really leaning into fast attacks here not so much strong attacks for your blue mutations we're using supercharged glyphs so enemies under the influence of yearn and lose 30 points of vitality over time so again it's like bleed it's essentially just like bleeding that enemy when that effect is applied magic trap which turns yoda into a damaging spell rather than like the typical slow i'm also using ard sweep which gives ard a bit more of a 
have a radius in front of you when you are hitting enemies, it'll strike more than just like the one in front. Depending on your level and the amount of like slots you've unlocked as well, you can switch Ard Sweep out for Shockwave to increase the damage dealt by Ard by 300. It will scale with you as the like the enemies do level, but you can switch that out to give you more damage from combining these two skills together. For the green mutation, I'm using Endure Pains to increase max vitality when the toxicity exceeds the safe threshold. So if we are popping a lot of potions, we get a little bit of extra health as well. I'm a big fan of Frenzy, so time will automatically slow when enemies are about to attack you if your toxicity is above zero. For the most part, your toxicity is going to be above zero, so it just gives you time to react. Really good skill. Now, just in general, I'm a big fan of Poison Blade, so you can poison enemies when you do have like the right oil applied, as well as like protective coating. So when you have that oil applied, you take reduced damage from that kind of monster type, but it's not really specific to Henry Cavill's kind of like general setup, but they're also really good green mutations that you can pick up if you are interested in looking at different green mutations. For the last blue mutation section, I'm using some just like general skills here. The Griffin School techniques to increase the medium armor sign intensity as well as stamina regen because the Forgotten Wolf set is medium armor, so it fits perfectly here. Gourmet is just a great skill in general, so eating food regenerates vitality for 20 minutes. Fantastic skill to have. And then Rage Management is an absolute must. So if your stamina level is too low, then you can use those adrenaline points to cast more signs. And because this is kind of like a sign casting build, we're going to be using a lot of signs, then we can actually get extra casts or much quicker casts off in that way. And adrenaline points are the little red dots next to like your stamina marker. So when your stamina marker isn't, you know, full to be able to use signs, you'll be able to then use the adrenaline points for that. And some general build tips. You do have other signs, obviously, like Quen is always useful, even though we're not buffing Quen in any particular way, like whether it be with our skills or even anything else, you can still use Quen. Like it's still absolutely well worth having and, you know, Igni and all those other signs for enemies that are weak to those signs. You'll still get bonuses of just that sign intensity in general. So they're still going to deal a decent amount of damage. It's just not like focused as part of this build. And we're really focusing on staying within that window of Yurden. So when you put that trap down on the ground, you really want to stay close to it, stay within it, try and keep the enemies in it, make sure that effect is applied, then use Ard for the damage that you do get from that. And then while you're waiting for like your stamina levels or adrenaline points, you can follow up with just your fast attacks to generate some of those adrenaline points as well as just deal damage in those in-between moments when you can't get those signs off. If you were trying to make some sort of like min-max version of this, then I would drop some of the like red mutagens and some of the alchemy mutagens and really like go all in on like signs and picking up all of those sign bonuses and making a very specific sign build here but for the most part because this is you know a themed in that way we're not really doing that we're using a bit of everything a bit of a jack of all trades and you can definitely see success with this build in that way let me know if you would like me to do some sort of like min max build whether it be with this set or a different set i can do something like that but you know there is plenty of those out online and i just thought this would be a fun thing to do so we can do that if you would like me to thank you for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.